All right, back out to Lawrence with Christine Scarpelli has some more special guests for us. Good morning, Christine. You got a good morning. Yeah, so there's plenty of businesses we've highlighted just this morning. If you were watching over on 7 News on CBS Channel 7, we've got more and there's plenty of ribbon cuttings that have been happening, gosh, for the last year at least. Amanda, you would know all about it. Been here with the Lawrence County Chamber of Commerce, making sure that businesses feel comfortable opening here. They have the resources to do so. What businesses have you seen recently start up and now start being successful. You've had a lot of ribbon cutting. We have, we have. So like in the last probably year since okay. this time last year, we okay. have done about 40 ribbon cuttings, Four which is zero. amazing, yeah. amazing. So we also do a lot of ribbon cuts for celebration. So there's Great. new businesses. Great. We're celebrating new ownership and, and lots of different things, but we have a lot to celebrate and we're here to do it. So we have our new scissors okay. that we are very excited know, about. We great. had to upgrade. The other ones got too small. That's <laughs> right. So we have um, those Aww. and we have been using them just as much as we possibly can. Sure. We have some really great businesses. There's one in particular on the square right here in downtown Lawrence, Designs by D, and it's got different vendors and really cool, um, unique gifts for people. And I can't imagine any customer going in and not finding something that they need to take home with them. That is helpful, especially if you're coming to town, right? Maybe looking for a souvenir, something yeah. to bring back to somebody. Look at this town in Lawrence. This is where I was. Um, how about those new businesses that want to start here. Is this a friendly place for maybe Absolutely. a family? Absolutely. We or? welcome everybody. Okay. All of those businesses that come here to Lawrence County okay. are making us what we are. Yes. You know, they're unique and they're bringing visitors here okay. and they're, they're quality of life for our current residents. So we work really hard to try to support our small businesses with workshops and yes. promotional initiatives and the brew, which is one of the initiatives that we do where businesses get together and they talk about their different resources. What is and this? This is, we do it quarterly okay. and we alternate between the city of Lawrence and the city of Clinton. Okay. We're hoping to grow it and it's actually a, um, a name that may be familiar in the upstate. It actually started out of Anderson so we're kind of copying their model and uh, with permission of course. Of course. Uh, so no it's, been, it's been a really great program and it just brings a lot of businesses together. Love um, it. We just have so many businesses that are here working to obviously support themselves individually sure. but everyone as a whole and uh, right you make the community absolutely there's so much to see also you said this is hot off the press what it is, is. we just got it in last week we are super excited wow. about this um, this is a publication out of the Chamber of Commerce but we do it just to highlight all of Lawrence County so we have not only the small businesses that are just amazing and a fun shopping experience yeah. but we have tons of um, natural resources and hiking and biking trails so I definitely encourage anyone that's into that to um, load up your kayak load up your bicycles, put on some comfortable shoes, and come explore. Come to Lawrence. Uh, there's Definitely. certainly no shortage of lunch options after you hike or dinner maybe as well. Lawrence has much more information on your website? Absolutely. Our website is lawrencecounty.org, mm -hmm. and that publication is there. Very good. We'll put it at WSBA.com, as we always do. We'll send it back to you guys. How cool does that look, right?